Alright, right here beside me I have 16 guns, airsoft and BBs, plus a bow and arrow, three arrows, and today I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about them. Um, hmm. This gun is the Buck BB gun, okay? This one's messed up a little bit, got ran over. Um, this is not my gun, this is my brother's, but I do have my own personal one except for the end glow lights right here. Can you see those? Yep. All right, those are not there, so it's just a little hole right there at the front, and it's actually kind of cool because you can actually look down and you can see what your target is and where you're gonna hit through the hole. So that's kind of neat too. And uh, that one's not mine, but I do have my own. This next one is an old one. Um, I got it about two years ago, two, three years ago, and it's it's broke. But I keep it because it's uh, one of my first pump action BB guns. So, I mean, I like to, it's it's memorable to me. It means something to me, even though it is broken. You know, it still looks cool. Uh, this gun, when it worked, was part of a series. It's what I kind of like to, it's kind of, what I like to call the 22 series, where there's guns that are shorter than normal BB guns. Like, for instance, let me get up here. This right here is a real pump action BB gun. Alright, looks like the shotgun a little bit, but this is a pretty good pump action BB gun, all right? This is a lot bigger than normal. This is a standard size-wise, a uh, standard BB gun. Well, when you come back over here and look at these other BB guns, they're a lot shorter than, uh, I know, that, than that BB gun. So they're like what I like to call like these three guns right here. All these guns would probably be a 22 short. This one is another one I'd like to call the 22 series, which would probably be a 22 long rifle because it's a, it's pretty long too. It's just as long as this one right here, so that's kind of neat. But none of them sound like 22s. None of them sound like a 22 rifle at all. What? We got the one that does the big humongous. I know, so I'm getting to it. None of these sound like 22 rifles, even though they look like 22 rifles or whatever. Uh, no, they just make little puff noises when you shoot them. It's kind of cute. If you're big on BB guns and whatnot, you have to have this gun. Even though it's not the best, it's not the most powerful, it's not the biggest, but it's pretty darn famous. Even though mine is a little messed up. Mine is where you can't cock it. It comes back like that, it won't shoot. So what you gotta do is you gotta pull the trigger, and then you cock it, and even, there you go, and then it'll shoot. It's a little kinky, but it works, and it's still got the same power as, I, as it did when I first got it, which was about three years ago. That's pretty good. All right, and this one is messed up too, you gotta, it doesn't work. It you, it still kind of works, but you gotta put your thumb under it to pop it. Like yeah, get out and pop it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as powerful as it is when I got it, which was about two years ago. And then you've already let it sit for. <laughs> I let it. So I let it sit in the garage for about half a year, and it starts working again. And it's funny because then it, it gets all of its power back. It didn't come back any less powerful. It came back with uh, all the power it had stopped working with, which is kind of neat. So I like to have fun with this every once in a while. And when you first get this, it's going to take forever for you guys to learn where to load it at. You push that down, and you put the BBs in there, a little hole. which took me about three days to learn more to load this thing. So other than that, I just kept, you know, open this up. I just kept 
opening that up and putting the BBs in there and pellets and whatnot. That was kind of uh, neat that it does that, where it opens it up in there. Uh, but yeah, I just doing. I've just been doing a single shot, which is getting pretty annoying. You just want to skip a lot of stuff and get to the fun stuff. Yeah, let's get to the fun stuff. All right, like I was saying a couple minutes ago, none of these guns sound like a 22, even though they look like one. They just make the little puffy noise when you shoot them. Except for this one. Oh. Okay, this is the one and only, and probably the only pellet rifle I'll ever own until I get my own job and become old enough to buy him. He's backing up. It's just that big. It's huge. This whole, this whole part right here, is the pump. You only gotta cock it once. This is the whole pump. It, it when you pull it down, it pushes the pump all the way down to here. All the way down to here. All, uh, it pushes it all the way down to here. And it's single shot. It's brake barrel. You open it up. You put the pellet in there. I, I gotta pump it up. You can just detach the camera from the tripod. That little switch in the back. There you go. Oh, awesome theory to that. Alright, this is 10 pumps on this little booty gun. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was kind of neat. Just a little puff of air and then it, I hit the target. Next is the. This one's so good. Let's get out here and test fire this one. Okay, this is our pellet. Pellet's in there. It's a little tricky, you can't just slam it shut. Because then that happens, it jams itself up and it won't shut. So you gotta do it slow and then you kinda slam it shut. It takes a lot of practice, you'll get it. Pretty cool, right? Just do it again. One more time. And this is just so cool. Oh, that was a good one right there. But very expensive. Alright, we gotta wait for this car to pass first. All right, Austin's gonna shoot his first. Just randomly shoot it out there, and then I'll shoot mine. All right, when you're ready, Austin. Oh, that's his, this is mine. It's a big difference, isn't it? I mean, the camera audio, the camera audio I don't know about that. I don't know if we'll pick it up or not, but, you know, I don't know if it'll be as loud on camera. But uh, they should be able to tell the difference that this one is Alright, I think we're good for now.